special show for you. Raga is in the house. house. Live the darkness. Fergie! Punk International. Keep it locked. <laughs> We have a special show for you on Monday, live from Made Event. Uh, put on the appropriate headgear and then just listening to the show. You will feel as though you are there and you can enjoy the music live of The Darkness. Fun starts at 10. With Here in the Darkness, I, th I think that was a real um, team effort, bringing the darkness onto, onto Radio 1, because the initial music was heard by some of our specialist producers and DJs, and, and certainly Joe Wiley, and um, they, they, just, they just got it. I kept saying, are you sure? Have you seen them enough? Da -da 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 -da. And they went, yes, yes. I first came across the band, someone slipped me a CD, someone at Radio 1, and just said, see what you make of this. I don't know whether you like it, but I've got a hunch that you will. I remember going down to the studio and putting the CD in and just thinking, oh my God, what is this? What on earth is this? But I like it. She's the first person that really wanted to play our record. And she's a, a really important person in, in music, in the way music's evolved. And sure enough, as soon as she backs us, then uh, everyone else jumps on the band and we go, oh yeah, I, I saw them years ago, you know. But it was her that started it. You know, two years ago, 18 months ago, when The Darkness were first sort of picked up by Hugh Stevens in, in, in Wales, our session in Wales was the first guy to play it, and then on to Joe Wiley, who picked that up and championed that. It sort of swept the building like a fire. It doesn't happen every week. The reactions were really extreme. Some people just going, oh, I don't think so, and then other people just loving it. It just kind of kicked off from there, really, and it's just a whirl. I then started to get some reports back from people who'd seen them live, and they were sort of going, God, you've got to go and see this band, you have to experience what they're like live. I was absolutely gobsmacked. Yeah, get tickets out ready, keep moving through. Thank you. Bring it out. Yes. After I played the record on the radio, met the band, they came in, they were doing something for another show, and I couldn't believe that this band was responsible for this music because they were totally different to what they look like now. <laughs> they were just very, very quiet and very unassuming, and, you know, they just looked very, very shy. <laughs> There are people who sort of compare us to bands like Finn Lizzy Queen, and they say that in a way that, you know, that's a bad thing. <laughs> You're talking about world-beating, brilliant, classic bands with people all over the world that absolutely love them. Personally, I um, haven't got any time for anybody who sees it as anything other than a good band, and if you don't think it's a good band, I'm just going to walk away from you. And if you pursue me, I am going to turn around and say, please, stop following me. <laughs> You're starting to freak me out. Darkness. What does that spell? Darkness. We went to see the darkness last year, and ever since then we've been rocking. We believe in a thing called <laughs> rock. I am the genuine signed edition, <laughs> Justin Hawkins signed edition. I had a tattoo done as a sort of permanent tribute to the band that I love. All my heroes have sadly died now, so uh, you know the darkness can carry on playing. I can carry on seeing them, and it keeps me happy. Um, I've seen them about 50 or 60 times. I saw them before Christmas and they were absolutely brilliant. I first saw them in February last year when they were supporting Def Leppard. You have to see the darkness to believe it. But I can't remember a single thing about Def Leppard because the darkness was so good. But they blew me away and that's all I could talk about. The only band for a long, long time that's uh, got me interested in rock again. Their music appeals to all ages, whether you're age 6 or 66. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darkness. 
who art at the top of the music tree. Hallowed be thy name, thy catsuit come, and lead us not into manufactured pop, but deliver us from new metal. For thine is the music, the feedback, and the star jumps for all eternity. Rock on. Joe Wine. Radio One. We have today the band who have had the most amazing year, uh, an absolutely unbelievable time. Love them or hate them, it's been absolutely impossible to ignore them. Uh, they give 110% of themselves in every single show. The Darkness live on today's programme. How much time have we got before we're actually on the stage? 20 minutes. Yeah, stage. 20 minutes. Then when you go to the darkness coming and playing is amazing. And to do it at, at Maida Vale, Maida Vale's one of those mythical places that, you know, John Peel has been broadcasting sessions for God knows how many years. And punk through New Wave to now having the white stripes and the darkness there. And we had Beyonce doing something there the other, the other week. And you're like, geez. You can feel the prestige in the building, you know. We walk along corridors and see echo chambers and things like that, and it's just as BBC as you like. Sexy, sexy. Uh, the Darkness are here live from Medvale Studios as our, our audience. Hello, make some noise, please. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah! <laughs> are you ready, Justin? Aye. I'm in a real hole, so you've got to help me out here if you don't mind. I don't want you to play yet, just talk to me. What? Uh, just talk to me, that's fine. I'm going to talk to you using the medium of music. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, bands that have been here in the past, we've had you two here doing this before. We had Blur, we had Beyonce, Coldplay have been here, and now it's the darkness's turn. It's just up and up, isn't it? <laughs> Some would say that, yeah. <laughs> are you ready to go? We were born ready. OK, what are you doing for us first? Name this tune. First time when uh, you heard I Believe in a Thing Called Love played on the radio, where um, you were and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Gone. Yeah, I, um, I was laying on a couch, touching myself, listening to your show, as always. <laughs> <laughs> in ways that would make most people feel uncomfortable. Yeah, all right. Not I. We'll leave it there, shall we? <laughs> yeah. That's one thing about the band, but Justin in particular, that you can always rely on him for some really, really good one-liners. Loves being cheeky, loves being naughty. And, uh, you yeah, know, that's, that's, that's what makes the band. That wasn't what I meant at all. I just said I was touching myself. I could have been touching myself here. You've got... Get your mind out of the gutter. Wash Stick your mind. I mean. Some people might interpret it that you meant that. Like, the meaning that you did, because you're a pervert. Get out. <laughs> Radio 1 is going to be at the heart of young people's musical odyssey. Because it's, it's, a, it's a journey for them. From young teenage through to their early 20s or the mid-20s. And if all we did was reflect during our output the hit music of the day, then, to be honest with you, we wouldn't really be doing a great job for the UK. It is great to promote British talent, though. I think the tide's turning. I think there's some good British stuff coming through. Yeah, I think it's been one-way traffic from America as far as rock music goes, especially. Well, actually, hip-hop and everything, really. Well, now hip-hop's changing. When we look at the GLC, Gold Licking Chain, who were supporting us last night. That's that's an important band. Commercial radio under rats. Now, this next one's all about British music, which is what you should be listening to. Like a darkness, like a GLC. There are occasions where stuff comes to you that you can't resist 
and you can't ignore the fact that it is amazingly creative. I mean, it's happened recently with these guys from Newport in Wales called Goldie Looking Chains, where everybody is talking about it. They are deeply funny, to some people I'm sure deeply offensive. They are a collective, it's a world that they've got, the world according to Goldie Looking Chains. I am struck by them in the same way that I was struck by the darkness when someone first said, now listen to this, Andy, listen to this. We had 46 acts on Radio 1 here tonight, so that's not bad in one song, that's all right. It's a laugh, isn't it? It's all a laugh. All that American music. All that R&B. The big soul. Alicia Keys. We're going to start taking British music seriously because we'll have a multifaceted assault on the global market in every genre available to us. It's like gladiators, you know. <laughs> Each gladiator is um, has his own strength, right? We're Wolf, for example. Yeah. Jamie Callum, Hunter. GLC, Jet. Let's go, let's go and kick some ass. Um, Ryan, Ryan McGee from uh, Horwick, is it? Hoik. Hoik. Uh, your question, please. Um, how are you coping with your newfound fame? <clears throat> Quite well, actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, life is good. What's the best bit of it? I know, I'm looking forward to getting a personal assistant. <laughs> Hey, Justin, what's the worst bit of it? Worst bit is um, opening the newspaper and seeing a picture of Gwyneth Paltrow on one side of the bizarre section. Of it. On the other side, a picture of me, just as big, perhaps even slightly bigger, and the story is, Justin went shopping. <laughs> <laughs> it's bizarre, you know. Are uh, you ready to do the final song for us? Aye. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Thank you very much indeed. because all those years of being beaten up at school for liking Van Halen have suddenly seemed worthwhile. My friend said to me, this is so wrong, it has to be right, and I could only agree. It's the uncool people like me who've always liked that kind of music. Dawson's got, like, the cat suit and everything. It's just amazing. We like the Darklings because they Darklings. rock. Darklings, yes. They rock. Just, they're amazing. Just good old-fashioned bunch of heads. Just out there having fun. Their songs are real proper rock songs. They've got soul, they've got great lyrics. So they're proper musicians, which makes a show these days, you know. And their music's wicked, of course. <laughs> they're fantastic. <laughs> they seem to take music back to its roots. And I've never found a band like that. That's so amazing. <clears throat> Fantastic. What a way to start your weekend on a Monday morning, live from Made of Bell with the darkness. Thank you to the darkness. Thanks to everyone who put this together, all the people who worked so hard. It's okay.